Oh. What are you doing? We're well, live. I didn't, I didn't know we were live. Sorry. We're live. Sorry, sorry. Jeez. Jeez. Corey, sorry. Come on. Jeez. Jeez. We're live. Well, hello, everyone. Today we have a special guest who is my father, and he is going Wait, to Wait, that's be... your dad? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh, I thought it was just a stray. <laughs> Um, and he is the professional building expert person yeah, that's going to be that helping us to build the rest of the bus because we don't know shit. Well, I don't know shit. I don't stuff. Know we don't know stuff. This is, <laughs> this is a family friendly thing. No, it is not. <laughs> okay. It's a um, learning experience for everyone. It yeah. is. Yes. So, uh, he is here to explain. We have finished the floor and, uh, I don't really understand why we did what we did. So can you explain that? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, first thing we did, actually, you guys did a good job of cleaning the floor, getting it prepped. It was absolutely spotless, which was critical. And painted. And you filled in all the holes that we're aware of so that all the rust has been taken care of. But we took the extra step further and went with another layer of ice and water shield, which typically is used on a roof, but we used it on the, on the metal because it's gonna help preserve the metal and it'll also um, just add longevity to the uh, to the flooring system and won't allow any fumes to come up through won't allow any insects to come up through um, and except for this bee right here <laughs> except well the bee, bee is above the barrier this <laughs> thing rolled out the red carpet for me gary it's the black carpet Corey. oh geez and it's more appropriate for you <laughs> I thought you've done this before, Gary. Once or twice. The ice and shield is peel and stick, so they use the larger sized roll to get a majority of the floor covered and then switch to a different brand that has a smaller sized roll that they could use for the edges and for around the wheel well. When we clean the floors first put the and put mats down so that nobody would bring tracking dirt except for you. Yeah. Tattletale. That sounds about right. All Tattle those footprints are cool. Gary's a tattletale. He's <laughs> every man for himself here, buddy. <laughs> You're not even, you can't even see. <laughs> what? What are you supposed to be filming right now? You're not even on the camera. Uh, uh, <laughs> somebody moved it. Apparently it is hard to uh, look at a screen and figure out. Hey, it takes skill to you know, you're, you're professional and we're just founders today. If anybody could do it, then you wouldn't have a job. And it'll make it a real pain in the butt for the next person to wants pull it off. <laughs> so if you want to know how to pull it off, go back to our first video when we pulled exactly. off the Exactly. Um, and then because we couldn't get exactly what we wanted for insulation, we had to actually do a two-layer system, which actually turned out better anyway because we ended up putting down uh, fan foil insulation, which is about an eighth of an inch thick. We're not sponsored by Lowe's, nor have any affiliation with Lowe's, nor did they give us a discount. Lowe's, Lowe's, Lowe's. I think that's enough, Gary. Lowe's. Since I was mostly in the way while they installed the floor, I started working on the cat custom cat tree that I'm going to be building. And so that's what I worked on on this day. That's going to be its own video once it's finished. And I also didn't really film the first part of it, which is where I dragged a bunch of trees out of the woods and started carving them down. But I'll explain that in another video. But I'm just mentioning it because I am working, just not where they're working. As always, additional links 
to look at all of the different tools and materials that we used for this part of the project are linked in the description box below. We do use Amazon affiliate links, which means if you purchase anything via those links at no additional cost, you get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon. But I only list products that we actually do recommend and use. And then we used um, duct tape and duct taped it all down, which created a, an insulating barrier. And then we added another layer of our max half inch, which gave us um, almost three quarters of an inch in insulation barrier and we also used uh, tape up the side so that there's no chance for uh, leaks or air infiltration at all through the um, through the uh, bottom. Gary's working. Corey's watching. And if you head on over to my blog post, you can see a more detailed breakdown of mistakes that we made along the way and materials that we bought that we didn't end up using or materials that we thought were great and then something went wrong or materials that we weren't sure about and then ended up being great. So I, re I review absolutely everything on the blog um, and I've linked a few of the bigger blog posts in the description box below. What's that? Right there. I missed one! All kinds. Sorry. You yeah. clean like you spread jelly. Yeah. All over the place. Nope, that was right away. <laughs> That gave us enough thickness to be the same height as the rib that we had going all the way around on the floor, um, which allowed us to then go with, um, uh, we ended up with, what, 5 eighths, I think? Yep. Um, well, it's like, uh, what is it? It's 5 eighths inch, I think. 20 72s well, or something like that? Well, yes. It's <laughs> whatever for, the, for, the, for the normal contractor, 5 eighths plywood, uh, <laughs> CDX, to span over the whole thing. Uh, which will give us a good solid floor to do whatever you want to do, a vinyl, a carpet, uh, whatever. Um, it'll be just one solid uh, system. We ended and up using Corey's... eight planks of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did someone step into the hole earlier? No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Shit. Funny. How, the, how the fuck are we going to do that? Listen, stop swearing on the camera. How the flippity, flippity flap. I didn't even think about that. No. If, it, if somebody hadn't put all their crap in the way. There's nothing in the way. Yes, there's electrical outlets and... Get over there. Get over there. Oh. Now, move your end. Pick your end up a little bit. This end will go down. Um, let's see. Chuck that off. You heard him. That was Gary. Are you gonna, you gonna go live? Yeah. Alright. What's the side? What side? What side? This is the top. This will be that going on to that side. So, okay. are you gonna look up? Yep. All the way down. Spin, spin, spin. No, keep, stay up in the air. It gets there's a gap on that side. Oh. It's crooked. I'm saying that. Okay. I know that. But let's grab it here. Stay with it. Watch your fingers. I'm not gonna. Come on. Get 
better break it. Break it we didn't do it. You can edit that out, right? Nope. That's inside the wall. Yeah, I know. Mine, yeah. As long as that's where you want to be on the other end, oh, here? we can start screwing this in. Quick. So you need the official... We have to get the, the owner's permission or direction. Really good at screwing. Yeah. Uh, Too much information. What kind of screws did you use? Uh, did you just get that? I did. <laughs> I got it when you said it, but I was gonna try to slow uh, it. <laughs> so we might have to cut it. Because <laughs> <laughs> the whole shirt. I think it's on the whole shirt. The whole shirt. Yeah. Uh, so, so some of the for the corners, I use these self-tapping tech screws. They're two and a three-quarter inch length. Um, the problem with these guys were I came across a problem was the threads are too small, so I couldn't suck down um, any of the the plywood. So what I ended up having to do is pre-drill and utilize these uh, multi-material screws. Uh, I thought we managed to get those to work without. Pushing. No, uh, no, I had to. They they just get burnt up. You can probably see in some of them here. So essentially, they ended up going. Well, yeah. What happens is through the plywood, through the insulation, yeah. and into, into the, the metal building. bus. Yeah. Yeah. So I ended up using a combination of these two guys um, to to make sure that it was secure. And we got a nice solid base to work. <laughs> yep. And then eventually we'll uh, we'll add another level of insulation in areas with with. Uh, with if we go with hardwood flooring or carpet uh, for cushioning, so we're not working on the hardwood, of course. So, so have to account for that. Yeah, you don't want to go too close to the ends. Eventually, you're going to go every foot along the seam. Like I just want to get pin the corners. So. So that's the plan. Um, my dad's going to be joining us for more builds in the future. We're going to be working on framing in the future. So that will be the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you did, please do give it a like. Consider subscribing. We're making new bus videos every single Wednesday. Until next time. You got it this time? How Live long you know and it? prosper. No idea. <laughs> it's create love and travel on. Bye.